Hello, collector music nerd friends. I have some things I want to show you that I recently picked up. And some of it's records, some of it's CDs. I'm going to start with the CDs. Now, the reason I bought these CDs, it was a weak moment for me. A very weak moment because I typically do not buy brand new stuff for myself ever. But I woke up early one morning and I went over to the YouTubes and I uh, saw a new video by... Uh, a friend of mine on YouTube named Stephen Schnee, and he is a CD collector extraordinaire. He posted a video on something that he just recently bought, and in my early morning haze, in my weakness of the early morning hours, I went and bought what he showed immediately. I just bought it, and then later that day, I was like, why, why did I spend all that money? Well, I'll tell you why I spent all that money. I'm going to open it right now and show you what is in here that I spent money on. And Stephen Schnee, I blame you. I blame you for showing me something so cool that I had to buy it. Now, uh, here we go. Now, what I have here is a collection of Oingo Boingo CDs. All remastered. Their most popular albums. Here we have Only a Lad. Nothing to fear. Good for your soul. And Dead Man's Party. I've been an Oingo Boingo fan all my life. And uh, this is great. Now, I did expect it to come in some kind of box, but I guess not. I guess it's just uh, loose CDs. But I will be listening to these, and uh, I will enjoy the hell out of those. Of course, I already have all the uh, original pressings of these CDs, but... There's bonus tracks on here and stuff, and I just had to have them. I'm an Oingo Boingo collector. So I had to have another thing I picked up from that same website, and it does have a box with it, is this. Missing Persons, their uh, first three albums, collection, and it comes with a box, which I love. I don't know why Oingo Boingo didn't come with a box. That's kind of lame. But anyway, there we have the three Missing Persons albums. Of course, Spring Session M, their big hit. And then we have Rhyme and Reason here. Love this record too, I love it. And, uh, and uh, Color in Your Life. I think they're all great records, but of course this one stands above all of them. And uh, there's bonus tracks on these and uh, I, I'm looking forward to checking them out. And dig this box again, I love the box. Boingo needs a box. Look at that. Cool, huh? All right, so now let's get on to the records, all right? So here's something I found at the flea market a week or two ago, and I love this. Check it out. Satan. It says Satan really big. I had to get it just because of that. But look here. It says, we're going to tear your kingdom down. Satan, we're going to tear your kingdom down. And the, that's the people who's going to do the tearing down. They're going to do some tearing down back here. Satan. I believe there's some Satan blood right there. But uh, yeah, obviously the cover of alone sold this to me. I bought this for the cover and I'm really glad to add this to my religious record collection. Now this next one was another thing that I bought because of somebody else on YouTube. My friend Zepp Hurl, his name's Vance, he picked this up somewhere and played it, I believe, may have been a live stream he was doing or a video, but he played this. I asked him about it. He said it was a power pop band. I found it at the flea market for a dollar recently, so I couldn't pass it up. I have not listened to it yet, but I did hear a little bit of what uh, Vance played on his channel. So I dig power pop. I'm going to probably dig this whole record. And I'm actually doing a video specifically on a few power pop records that this will be featured in very soon. Moving right along, I got this. Italo Disco 12-inch, but look at the cover. This is another one I bought just for the cover. Dig that. Look at those guys. And look at the little computer there. And uh, Man, look at that. They got the short shorts. I don't know how to pronounce that name, their name, but um, that's the record. It's great synth pop, you know, Italo Disco stuff. I, I like it. I listened to it today, but the cover totally sold me on that one. Now, then I got this cool promo only 12 inch uh, Joe Jackson stepping out. I love some Joe Jackson stuff. And uh, I looked this up online and it actually sells for, for pretty good money considering it's just a, a promo single. 
of Joe Jackson. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to keep it or sell it, but I love some Joe Jackson. So that was a cool find for whatever it was, a dollar or less. And now here, uh, more religious records for my collection. Dig this. Obviously bought it for the cover. He touched me. He touched me. She's telling you the truth. And look, there's proof right there. Touching going on there. There's touching. There's touching. Can anybody make out what that t-shirt is she's wearing? I don't know. But anyway, he touched me. That's what sold me on the record. Don't care what it sounds like. I bought it because he touched me. Then, my friend Malcolm Tent came to visit me recently. He plays bass in the band Anti-Scene. Uh, he's a fairly new member to the band, but he's been my friend for many years. And he got this recently and decided that it needed to come live in my collection. And it's by Larry Adams. Now, Larry Adams, his record, The Sun's Coming Up. Uh, he put this out, oh, I don't know, I'm guessing this is 70s. And uh, maybe the early 80s. Looks kind of 70s to me, I don't know. There you have it, the back cover. And it says here, Larry was stricken by polio at the early age of nine. Doctors presented the dreaded facts to the distraught parents that in all probabilities, Larry would be overtaken by death. The following months found him precariously hanging between life and death. Even if he should live, his mental capabilities would be completely destroyed. Anyway, he goes on to say that he learned to uh, play some music. Let's see, he played the harmonica to strengthen his nearly collapsed lungs. That's what started him on his musical journey. Anyway, it's really kind of bad country music gospel, but I had to have it. It's his only release, according to Discogs, and I am proud to own this Larry Adams record. If anybody else finds any more Larry Adams record or records or has any idea of where he might be these days, I'd love to know. Larry Adams, everybody. And the last record I have to show is also a religious record. It's also a gift from my friend Malcolm Tent. Uh, of anti-scene, and I forgot to mention, of the label TPOS Records. And this is something that Malcolm put out fairly recently, and it's really bizarre. It is the Reverend Jim Jones' last sermon, the uh, guy in a tragedy, 1978. It's actually a recording of him talking to his followers. Uh, the whole bit with them drinking the poison and everything is, is, is on here. Audio recording of that. There's some bits and pieces of of the history of the whole thing. And uh, it's bizarre. It's really creepy. It's unsettling. And I had to have it. And now this recording, not this exact recording, but essentially this was released years and years ago by uh, an experimental industrial weirdo band called Psychic TV, which is members of Throbbing Gristle and some other people. And uh, they put out this Reverend Jim Jones record, The Last Supper, and basically this is the same thing that that other record is. It's just a recording of Jim Jones and his followers uh, at the camp, and uh, they drink the poison and everything, and also this is autographed by Genesis P. Orridge of Throbbing Gristle and of Psychic TV. I believe it was his last show or second to the last show he ever did in the U.S. before he unfortunately passed away. Uh, I'm very happy to have this, but um, just wanted to show you this because it relates to this new find uh this jim jones record so very weird i thank you for coming by and letting me show you what kind of stuff i've been picking up thanks for the likes thanks for the comments on the video let me know maybe what your favorite thing uh that i showed today was and um if anybody knows if that oingo boingo cd box is supposed to have a box around it i'd love to know because i want the box uh all right, so let me see. Any more geeky things I can tell you? No. Wait till next time. New videos coming soon. May the rock and roll gods bless you as they blessed me, and we'll talk to you later.